Jack and Ori, Jack and Ori, what's the story? Jack and Ori, Ugly Duckling by Mark Anthony Rains. Once upon a time, long ago on an old farm, which was looking a bit worse for wear, sat her mother duck sitting on a nest and waiting for her newly laid eggs to hatch. Typical, your father's gone with some of his mates to investigate some new pond and left me here to board out my brain waiting for you to lot to harridge. To hatch, so hurry up and get on with it," said Mother Duck. Suddenly, a cracking sounds could be heard, and out from her under her bottom, tiny cracks could be heard. Mother Duck sat up to give the poor little things some air. "You all look so cute and cuddly," Mother Duck then counted her newborns. "It's only five, so number six was not hatched yet." Sitting in the nest was one large, I would say, brown egg. But it's a strange well now, where a colour can cause offence. So let us call it a different egg. A shade instead less of this back to the story. So the mother duck informed the five others at playtime in the port pond. We'll have to wait till the last egg was hatched. After a long night and into the dawn of a new day, and some very, 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 very bored ducklings are waiting finally the different egg hatched. But they but what stepped out of the cracked eggshell was an odd looking bird who was a much bigger than the rest and was the most ugliest face you ever did see. We walked it was like with a funny wobble. In unison the other doctor said, You're all ugly, very ugly. Another dad said, Don't be rude, he's your brother. He's probably a late developer. Now, come on, line up, it's time to go to the pond for some playtime. The other ducklings waited till the mother duck was ahead of them. Um, and all turned and said to the ugly bird, Look, you are so far too ugly and awkward to be with us in the pond, so why don't you go away and hide? So the poor, different duckling felt instantly upset and ran away, crying and generally feeling very sorry for himself. Days and days went by, and all the comments from the passing members of the animal kingdom, Oh boy, you're an ugly looking bird, but your mother doesn't love you. A very ugly, ugly different looking bird. Just retreated himself some more, feeling very, very, very unloved. Little did he know that his mother was missing him lots, he was very angry with his, with his five other siblings for telling him to go away and return each of the far ugly different bird siblings had a beauty subconscious for their horrid words and attitude to a member of their family. Suddenly one day a pigeon flew by and said, Oh boy, what a beauty! This cabinet happening all day. He even had a couple of wolf whistles and the geese flying over. So, to see what the fuss was all about, he went to the pond. In the middle of the pond, the reflection looked back at him. He was a mythical white swan. Passing by at his exact moment was his mother and his five siblings. But Mother Duck, in an instant, knew that the swan was once the ugly duckling. His siblings, all in unison, said sorry for being so cruel. In a flash of built up anger and frustration, the swan proceeded to peck and bite till all were dead, nothing left but corpses floating to the bottom of the pond, and for a brief while, red coloured pond water. The end.